Hey guys, thanks for watching. I uh, got a card trick for you today. Uh, it goes by a lot of different names, I think, but I learned it as the divining card. So hope you guys like it. Uh, this trick uses not a whole deck of cards. In fact, it only uses eight cards. And uh, we'll get to those in a minute. It also involves four little uh, paper envelopes here, big enough to put in a playing card. And uh, we'll get to those in a minute as well. I want to show you the eight cards that we'll be using for this trick. Uh, we're going to use a nine of spades, a seven of hearts, queen of spades, and an ace of diamonds. And we're actually going to use these four cards twice. From another deck of cards, I pulled the same cards. Nine of spades, seven of hearts, queen of spades, and ace of diamonds. So we've got uh, two sets of identical cards here. Now one of these sets we're going to put in these envelopes here. They're empty, they're just little paper envelopes that I folded up. So we'll take these, put one in each envelope, just like that. Now if there was a spectator here, they could take these envelopes and then mix them up. They could look at them, uh, there's no you know, certain marks on any, on any envelopes or anything, they're all the same. Uh, I could be in a different room if they wanted while they mix these up, doesn't matter. Just get them shuffled up real good and then just lay them out in a row, just like that. Now from these cards, we're going to have the spectator uh, select a card uh, randomly. And to make sure it's random, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to take cards from the bottom and place them on the top just like that, just to kind of mix up the order of the cards. And whenever the spectator wanted, I'd have them call out stop. So uh, whenever they wanted, let's say they called out stop right about here, right on this card, the ace of diamonds. So put that card down, these three we don't need. Now, whether they realize it or not, there was a reason they stopped on the ace of diamonds. Uh, whether it was uh, subconsciously or, or whatever, they have some sort of connection with this card. Now we're going to test how strong of a connection that really is. See, I would hand them the Ace of Diamonds, and I would have them hover that card over each of these four envelopes. Slowly, just one at a time, trying to you know, sense uh, you know, which envelope they have a, a connection with. And uh, I want to emphasize that uh, if there was a spectator here, they could really pick any of these four envelopes. I'm doing it, um, but I want to make sure you know that I'm not picking a certain envelope or anything like that. If, if somebody was here, they could really pick any of these envelopes. So uh, whenever they're happy, I'd invite them to just drop this card onto any one of these envelopes. Let's say they drop it here. Get rid of these three. Now again, something caused them to pick this Ace of Diamonds, something caused them to pick this envelope. Now hopefully, if we open up this envelope, pull out one card, it is their match, the Ace of Diamonds. That's the trick. It's called the Divining Card, and I hope you guys liked it. Thank you very much for watching.